Hey everyone, what's up? I hope you're having an awesome day. I'm here with my dad and we're on a road trip. We're on our way to Kansas City for the Wheelchair Softball World Series. Here we are going into Iowa. We've driven 177 miles. It's time to pump up the gas. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking Arby's. We made it safely to our hotel and then we went out for dinner. We ended up going to Sticks and I got a fortune cookie with no fortune. So you have to make your own fortune. As you can see, the field is being painted right now and it should be good to go for tomorrow. And we have a beautiful view of the field. Check that out. Breakfast of champions. Getting to the van, going to a team meeting. Talk about our game plan for the weekend. Some teams find empty parking lots to practice their batting. Here's the Nebraska Barons. Ooh, we've got the Children's Mercy Park field. This is where their soccer team plays. We stayed here last year and it was beautiful. We had our own little porch. Fun times. Oh, it's over there. Okay. It's over there. What are you wearing? Bling. Good luck. A good luck charm. From Cher Jordan. Here we are warming up for our first game against the Arizona Diamondbacks. Wins out three. One, two, three, four. Get in there. Is that or what? Is that bad, huh? Better boy, David! Better boy, B! Make that play! Yeah! Yeah! Catch it, Jerry! Better boy, Jerry! Catch that, Jerry! Quick work! Use those wheels! That boy is fast. Get back, get back, get back! During that play, Brian's axle got messed up. Thankfully, we were able to fix it. Here's my time to shine. And I fouled it, so I'm out. But it's all good. We ended up winning 20-0. to zero. But hey, we got some cool pictures, too. Here's some footage of us playing against the Kansas City Royals. We ended up beating them 10 to zero. Overall, our defense was amazing and we had some really good offensive hitting as well. Lots of double plays during this game. Three, yeah! After the game, my dad and I went to Target and we went into the checkout lane where this lady approached me and said, do you make YouTube videos? And I said, yep. And then she said, oh, my daughter knows you. So then we got a picture and I signed an autograph and it was just really cool and they were really nice. Here we are at the T-Bone Stadium. One of my teammates, Brian Chavez, got inducted into the Hall of Fame. So we went there to support him. Okay, Thank you for the Rolling Twins and each and every one of those guys that have been <laughs> Welcome to day two of softball. Here's the Houston Astros against the Chicago Cubs. Their game was right before ours, so we watched them. Here we are playing against the Deep South Hurricanes. And we ended up winning this game 13 to 2. Here is Jason Miller, our quad. Every team needs to have a quad, and only the quad can bunt. So here's a really nice sacrifice bunt, scores us a run. Oh, Yeah! 
Nice catch, Brian. <laughs> there are various people with different types of disabilities that play wheelchair softball. And to make it fair, there is a classification system ranging from quad to three. So you can be a quad, a class one, a class two, or a class three. Teams can only have up to 22 points on the field at any time or in the batting lineup at any time just to make it fair and balanced for all teams disability-wise so a team with all amputees can't play against a team with paralysis. For example, a class one and a class two could be someone with uh, paralysis just at different levels, and a class three could be someone that has an amputation. ET that fell at home and got back up right away is a class three. Yeah. Push it! Yeah, yeah ET! Yeah. Double! Good smack! Yeah! Let's go, let's go! Wheel. Push! Yeah! 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 Way to go, Hall of Fame! This is us playing against the Nebraska Barons. Brent Rasmussen came up to bat and he hit it over the fence for a solo home run. It was a very close game and thankfully we won 7-5. to five. Let's go! Who's all in? We're, We're all in! in. Who's all in? This is how I keep in shape. There was a little bit of a severe weather rain delay. You can see the fields are pretty wet, but they're drying out because the sun is out. Here's my teammate Javi. He also plays for the Latin America team, and this is Latin America versus USA. During that game, Jamarcus came up to me and introduced himself. He saw me on the For You page for TikTok. His dad plays wheelchair softball on one of the other teams. He's very positive and upbeat. Check out his TikTok. Just did a little video clip with him. Okay. Here's the ceremony before the championship game, and I'll show you some clips of our national anthem and Japan's. Here are some clips when we went against one of the Chicago teams, LWSRA. with it, Kurt. Yeah, Kurt! Yeah, Kurt, way to play! Push it out, push it out! 
They're fast. We ended up losing to the LWSRA Hawks 10 to 13, but it's double elimination and that was our first loss. So then we played the Hawks again and we ended up winning 11 to 1 for the championship. Dude! Yes! yes. Sticking boys! I played in big games many a times and I get butterflies in my stomach. When that happens, I know in my heart that this is where we should have been. We punched that ticket! Let's go! Yeah! Anybody else? I'll take you under my wing. I love you guys. I'm Marcus! How come we don't just be like that? I know. Let me do one more. I need to do it again. One of our plays went viral during the tournament. So I'll show that play with you guys right now and where it got played. Coming, Miller! Coming, Petey! Get him! Yeah! 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 Top plays. No fancy schmancy little line here. Take him or leave him, kids. out was he safe I don't really know and I don't really care because this is incredibly impressive I think there should be a way that both people win I mean I can't even walk on crutches and these guys are out here playing baseball in wheelchairs some people are just better than the people it was so cool to see us on Sports Center, Barstool Sports and on Yahoo we also made it on WCCO and CARE 11 and I'll share the CARE 11 news clip with you guys covered by Heidi Wigdahl a Minnesota team is coming home with a championship title. The Minnesota Rolling Twins won the Wheelchair Softball World Series. The team is now home from Kansas City. That is where they beat out Chicago for the title. Heidi Wigdahl talked to the team about what it took to get there and what's next. For years, the Rolling Twins have played in the Wheelchair Softball World Series championship game. The goal to uh, bring that trophy back to uh, Minnesota. Yeah, this time, they did, winning their first World Series since 2014. It finally feels good to uh, come all the way through and win. One thing that we would say in the team huddle before the games was, who's got my back? We got your back. We all have each other's backs. Come on, come on. The team played six games in Kansas City, even making Sports Center as a top play. I've been playing for 35 years, and it's in the last few years has really taken off. Minnesota is kind of the, the the birthplace of wheelchair softball many, many years ago. So many of our current players and past players are in the Hall of Fame. Now including Brian Chavez. But I have had the best teammates for 14 years. They helped me produce what I did out there. If it wasn't for them, I, I would have never have got inducted. We all have our, our stories to tell. We're living proof that regardless of, of, uh, of, of something changing the way you used to do things or growing up with a disability, life goes on. The Roland Twins beat a Chicago team 11 to 1. If you um, do know anybody that has a disability, you do not have to be in a wheelchair to play wheelchair softball. You just, anything that um, holds you back from playing regular softball. If you're disabled, come on out and tear it up because it's pretty cool. <laughs> Heidi Wigdahl, CARE 11 News. Congratulations. Courage County Rehabilitation Institute hosts the Rolling Twins and Junior Rolling Twins teams. Now, if you're interested, we do have more information on our website. And we also have to give a big congrats to the Minnesota Thrip Flamethrowers. They won in the Consolation Division. That's awesome. <laughs> Is that a video? Yes. Oh, really? Well, he's waiting. It's I okay. Think, it's just the fireworks. Don't worry. The fireworks. Hey. The fireworks. You'll be famous. No big deal. Yes. Hey, he's, he's a social media guru. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. He's jack in action. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Here's the grand finale, the fireworks.